Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. This one going to show you how to lock the camera on a face or anything for that matter. It could be an arm or a leg or a body part. It doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you step by step and we're going to go through it from scratch. So what am I talking about? Here we go. If I hit space bar, you're going to notice that the camera is locked on her face. This lady in the front, everything else sort of moves independent. Her face is the focal point. It Basically, the camera is stabilized on her, particularly her face. How did I do it? Let me show you step by step. So I'm going to delete that composition and we're going to start from scratch. Okay, so I've got some footage here in my project panel. I'm going to double click on it and then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to select an endpoint. I'm going to make this my endpoint and then I don't want this to be a very long clip. So I'm just going to select an output. It's going to be very short. And that's just because it takes a long time to do the tracking. So I'm just going to teach you the technique. So we've input, we've got an in point and an out point. I'm going to drag and drop it into my timeline here. And we've got a very short clip. That's okay. Let me show you the technique. The first thing you want to do is make clicking, making sure you're clicked on this on your track. Go over here to your tracker panel. If you do not see it, go to window, drop down window and make sure there's a check mark beside tracker. Once you've got that, you'll get the option for four things here. Track camera, warp stabilizer, track motion, stabilize motion. It, we are actually going to use stabilize motion. A lot of people want to click track camera or track motion, but it's actually stabilizing. And why? Because we're going to stabilize on her face, literally. Left click on that and you'll get some options here. You're going to see that if you look carefully or look closely, we get a track point. I just zoomed in. I'm going to go ahead and click on the corner. I'm going to drag one corner out and then there's another box on the inside. I'm going to drag a second corner out. I'm going to make it a little bigger and what I'm looking to do is I'm basically just looking to create this and then track it over her face. I'm moving it and wow, she looks like a bit of a friggin' demon. Well, whatever. Okay, Beelzebub, let's track you. I'm going to put the point right between her eyes and you'll see here that most of her face is inside of that and that's basically what we want. I'll move it down a bit in increase the size a little. Okay, something like that. This doesn't have to be perfect. So there we go. We put track points on her. Now, the next step, it's very, very important, is we're going to go down here and we're going to click Analyze Forward. Basically what happens is, is we've now asked After Effects to do the analysis of the motion. So this will take a few seconds. It's not a fast process. So I'm going to let it work. I'm going to, then I'm going to zoom it up in post and then I'll come back and join you once it's ready. All right, welcome back. It has now done the motion tracking or the stabilization. It's at least calculated the motion path. So when I go ahead and scroll through this, you'll see here that this little square rectangle, it tracks directly to her face. Now, we're not done yet. We've got a few things to do, but let's just go ahead and let me just show you here the motion trackers. You'll see here that these are the different points. The next step before you go anywhere is you have to click on apply. Once you apply it, you get the choice between X and Y. I'm going to do X and Y so it goes up, up and down and sideways and then click on it. Now, let's go back, bring the playhead to the beginning and now look. You'll see here that her face is stabilized. It's tracked around her face. However, we are getting some strange looking transparencies around the edges. And basically what's happened is the camera is fixed to her and then what happens at the edges, well, you know, that's what happens. It doesn't, it doesn't take that into fact. It doesn't uh, synthesize the edges, so to speak. So what you need to do is you got to go into your video here. So you're going to click on your track down here in the project panel, open it up, and then you're going to see scale. Basically, what you need to do is you just need to scale up. And what you're looking for is you want to make it so that when you move through here, at no point do you see any of those transparencies at the edges. So, for example, you know, maybe I went a little too far. We could probably go down to about 117. And basically, I'm just looking to make sure there's none of that stuff that I showed you earlier with the transparencies. So this is good. So we dropped it down to 117. Now, I mean, if you wanted to go ahead and make further changes, you can. But we've got a perfectly tracked motion track to her face. Thanks for watching.